Money. <laughs> I look like a dog. <laughs> like a dog that needs a grooming. <laughs> I like it though. I've been wanting to go get a haircut. Because, um, uh, you know, I've been cutting my own bangs and they're just so uneven and just unflattering. So I've been wanting to go get it done. But maybe tomorrow. It's hard to find the time. But I just showered and I'm getting ready to go see my OB to hopefully tell me that, hey, you are good to go. You're ready to work out. I love this pants. It's very loose. I kind of like tied up here. Well, not tight, but it's just very comfortable. And I am not at a stage where I am most comfortable and confident with my body. So <laughs> this will do. Morning, hi everyone. Oh, there's a door, so fucking loud. Oh my gosh, so I was taking a shower this morning and I don't know if it's my hair, like my hair is so long and heavy, uh, but I just bent my neck and I like pulled something or I like cracked something wrong. I felt it, it felt weird. It was very subtle, but very painful. And ever since that, my neck and like my little bit of my back is like so, 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 so painful right now. Um, so I asked Tone to massage it for me, so it helped a little bit. And I did not realize how much um, knots I had on my back because he was massaging me and I'm just like, holy shit, it hurts. So I am either going to get cryotherapy, if you guys don't know what it is, it's just like a really, really cold bath or like a steam cold bath. You just go in a really, really cold freezer. Uh, so, and a lot of athletes do it and I've done it before. It's very helpful. Or I'm gonna get a full body massage with Tone, but we'll see what's best. But both of us definitely need it, desperately need it. Cause our arms, our shoulders, everything is just gonna falling apart. And we're not that young. Uh, I got my latte and the hospital isn't that close, so I definitely needed something to drink. Oh, I'm gonna throw out the trash and oh, head out. Let me just throw out the trash. It's all mine, all coffees. You know, whenever I come to a gas station and get some like coffee or like a pick me up. Oh my gosh, I miss my, our road trip. I miss our little camping days, which was very short. But today, Tong is off, so he's watching Aiden right now. So whenever Tong is off, we've been kind of taking care of the baby together instead of doing shifts. And let me tell you, shifts are so much better because at least one person is getting a full night of good sleep without any distractions but when tone's off we try to do it together because we want to go to bed together either of us are getting good sleep because even if like tone takes a baby to feed him i wake up because the baby calls or there's movement or all that this is why we do shifts um so tonight i think i'm gonna either take care of the baby or tone but yeah after a long day <laughs> he's sleeping we just got some Korean spicy chick braised chicken. Watching some show. I'm just wrapping up the day. Getting ready for beginning of the night. <laughs> so weird. We had a few people over and he was behaving so well. As if he never cries, he never he's never fussy. He just, you know. I feel like he's just very quiet, chill baby. <laughs> I think I choked on the chicken. I got spicy shit. <laughs> num, num, num. So tomorrow, but well, tonight actually, do you want to co-parent, or do you want me to just? I yeah, could just until do it. like what five a.m. and then switch or, or two thirty. Ah, uh, right, right. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, so instead of all night, maybe Tung and I could do until like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. And tomorrow, 
nothing too crazy either but i'm going to get groceries um i want to meal prep for the rest of the week so when i this we could yeah there's some food there there's a lot of restaurants uh, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna check out this place called the Ta Gangnam Market. Um, I know the building was there, but I guess like they like opened up like a Korean Asian groceries in there. Um, so we're gonna check that out. Possibly, if not, I don't mind staying home tomorrow either, cause we went out for lunch. Like it was close by, thankfully, but he was kind of like not too quiet in the beginning so um it took yeah i don't want that to happen tomorrow either so we'll see getting ready for I don't really know actually um Tony and I are planning on just kind of taking the day off Aiden slept really well last night um we him and I were in the living room um because we installed a window air conditioner living in chicago you'll encounter a lot of apartments that does not provide you with central ac so we had to install one because it was just getting too hot i almost in the past few weeks he wasn't able to sleep well because maybe it wasn't cool enough for him middle of this week is going to be officially his second month so he's going to be entering his third month That's kind of crazy. He's gonna be a big boy. Which means that he's getting closer to his 100th day. Um, so if you guys don't know, 100th day is sort of an important day for a baby. Uh, Koreans celebrate 100th day because back then like, babies wouldn't uh, survive that long. Uh, so if they did, if they did survive 100 days, there was something to celebrate. A lot of people these days, I think my generation especially, or maybe starting from my generation, they don't really celebrate as much as they used to. Um, all of my friends do take photos, um, but they don't really make anything bigger than that. Um, so... So for me, I wasn't even planning on doing photos, but part of me is just like, what if like Aiden grows up, all of his friends, I don't know, like talk about their like hundredth day and like the photos they took or their parents took, but Aiden doesn't have one. I don't want that for my kids, so I'm like contemplating if like maybe I should just do the photos, get a little hanbok for him. Hanbok is Korean traditional clothes. They do, of course, have for infants, kids, adults, whoever wants it. Um, so I'm just... Tom wants one, but he wants me something bigger out of it than just a photo shoot. Uh, I don't know. I would not... Actually, I could totally do photos because I like taking photos. And I could totally make a little, I, I would love to actually print out a photo of like Aiden and just Ame even. Right now, I'm too insecure to take photos and yeah, <laughs> anyways, we'll see. What is this? Almost, almost. I know. Okay, that's not what we're doing here. We're trying to lift your head. We're trying to lift your head. I know. 
It's hard. It's hard. I know. Look. It's so hard. I know. Look, look, look. Look at these pretty photos. Yeah. Um, we're heading to this Japanese ramen. Ish, ex, uh, ramen and they sell other stuff too, but we want to try it out. They have this um omurice that I wanted to try out. I'm excited for that. Uh, besides that, we don't really have other plans. We wanna we realize that staying out with the child is a lot of effort, <laughs> so kind of gonna have a meal. And just come back and just kind of just relax at home and chill at home. I'm eating this um, Squid Game inspired potato chips. <laughs> it's pretty good. You get to carve it out. <laughs> you can carve it out like this. It's not the Targona one where it's like 100% sugar. This is actually like potato chips. It's kind of spicy. It's good. It, is, it has a kick to it, right? Mm. I put it back here. Yeah. sauce and seaweed on top for you? Yes, yeah. please. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Ready? One, two, Other sauce. Demi glaze, that's a black pepper based sauce with beef and pork. I like this one better though. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's like a mild spicy. Awesome. Thank you. I'm trying to make it on the table, but it's so not broken. Good. It's just falling off. That looks so good. They used the. Oh, it's very good. Have you tried that? You're probably not. You know, Just one, two. Mara? Oh, oh. Mara, Mara. Ah. Oh, it's just one Mara. Oh, it's good. Mara, Mara, Mara. Do you Mara, Mara? Fried squid. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I have one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have two more to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you know what, I, I was craving like burger a couple days ago, but I'd rather... No, from here. Oh, no. Mm. 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 This is a dirty diaper in here. Uh, we just took a little break after we came home from lunch. I walked Ame. And I got my laundry going. I feel like every time I vlog, I tell you guys that I'm doing my laundry. But that's the truth. I do laundry every day. Um, I'm gonna go get some groceries for the rest of the week. I am only getting healthy or like, um, yeah, healthy healthy things because uh, Tong and I are you know still on the diet and let me tell you the diet before pregnancy after pregnancy is just like two different world two different languages <laughs> it's just so different I just feel like it's so much harder after pregnancy 
you have to be a lot more strict. Like I can't overdo it like like how I used to when I was early 20s or even like before pregnancy. I would overdo it and it would be fine, but I can't do that. So um, healthy meals is a key. So I'm going to get some groceries and after that I'm going to go out for a little walk, jog. I did see my OB yesterday and she gave me an okay. I asked her if I could work out and she's like, yeah, just if you're going to jog, take it slow. Which I do because um, uh, I go out for a walk and if I feel okay, I just kind of jog a little bit. And if I feel even a little bit of like pain on my knee or like my joint area, I would just keep walk, just walk again. I'm not worried. I think I'll really figure it out. And before I know it, I'll be sprinting. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, gonna get groceries. Uh, I just came back from groceries and I'm about to go for a jog slash power walk. I actually got shoulder bands um, that's supposed to like straighten out your rounded shoulders because uh, I realized that you know when I'm like feeding the baby or holding the baby I'm always slouching so this actually really I think it helps like you could like adjust the the length and stuff so I thought it would be helpful when I'm running to straighten out my back um I am wearing all long sleeve and long pants because I just want to sweat sweat everything out I did take my foundation off because when you sweat, you don't want to have makeup on. I don't know if it's true still, but back then I was told that when you're wearing makeup and you're, when your pores open, like all the bad stuff's gonna go in there, so don't wear your makeup, but I don't know. It depends on my mood too, so I am going to head out, um, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So it's pretty early night, um, but I wanted to kind of, uh, I think he's been kind of getting drowsy, like around 7 o'clock now, and I know that between 7 and 8, that's when like babies, like melatonin, like is highest, so they, that's why like kids' bedtimes are at like 7 or 8 o'clock, so like he's been um, showing that pattern that around 7 or 8 he seems a little bit more drowsy, a little bit more hungry because uh, he eats a little bit more and then he sleeps a little longer so I'm seeing that pattern uh, which is good, right? Um, so I just swaddled him and I'm going to be next to him on the couch I'm in the living room I know we have the whole chair and the crib and the nursery but it's so much cooler here and I think he sleeps much better when it's when the room is cooler like he sleeps uninterrupted a lot longer so I want him right next to me so um, before he wakes up I want to like shush him and um, he'll go right back to sleep I can't imagine sleep training him later I'm gonna feel terrible because I don't know I, I always thought sleep training meant sleeping separately from your baby not like you're letting them cry it out to self-soothe like I thought I sleep away from him but I still put him to bed but it's not you kind of like let them cry it out and let them like fall asleep on their own so i don't know i'm gonna find somewhere in the middle what works for me for now we are in an apartment so i don't want to be like too i don't want to let them cry too much at night um so we'll see we'll see what happens but uh i want to end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed everything i'll see you guys next time bye guys